Alex Rich for VideoCelebrityNews.com and I'm cruising out here with Jacques Ellis. We just did a live intro on Facebook.com forward slash Metro Witch. So go and check that out. He was a superstar doing the intro. We're now going to head out for you and let you experience an adrenaline session here in Cape Town, South Africa. So Jacques, yes, tell mate. us. Is this a high or what? This is epic, man. <laughs> you know, we're very privileged to be able to do this every day as a job. And, and uh, what a job this people. is, eh? Yeah, definitely. Aye. It's, it's adrenaline pumping. Woo! It's adrenalized. Right, you see the motors in the background, yeah? I'm going to just be showing you while he's just opening up a bit. Woo! <laughs> you the audience so that it's real so that you are yeah with us I'm gonna walk ahead ya ladies and gentlemen Cape Town South Africa look at the background yeah isn't this surreal isn't this amazing Woo! shark how's the dolphins how's the dolphins, how's the dolphins? Underneath the boat, they're right underneath the boat. I've got to get this in. I've got to get this in. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bear with me, lady. I've got it. I've got it. Unreal. I mean, this is phenomenal, eh? Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, let me just go further. I just want to get all the background in for our viewers. Right, for the people watching, this is Cape Town, South Africa, a stunning, amazing, wonderful place. I'm with Jacques Ellis, We're gonna do an interview. Part of the strategy was to head out, you point in the wake. We've got dolphins following the boat right now. Jacques, you just point them out, all right. I'm using the camera and mic just to keep it stable. Let's see if they're going in the wake itself of the boat. It is just so spectacular. I mean, I honestly feel like we, we could be in like Monaco or any other top places in the world, and you know, this, this would compare. Clinton this would seriously Beach, compare. That's the Monaco of South Africa. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, any given day of, of the year, you could be in a different place around the world, and that's the beauty of Cape Town. Voices right in front of us now. There's two uh, jackass penguins, the African penguin, that's on the brink of extinction. We do not know how long they're going to be around for. So, you know, being able to experience this every day is incredible. You know, this is certainly an absolutely a blessing without a doubt. I mean, I am so impressed. Look, how would we know that when we're out here? Sorry, this is the mic here. I want to get you in. Let's just get all of this in. How would we have expected? 
that getting out here, we'd see dolphins within a few minutes. Exactly. And, I mean, and this, this is, is a beauty. A, it's, it's, you know, uh, a lot of people want guarantees and stuff like that. It is wildlife. We do not cage <laughs> them, we don't feed them, and we do not train them. Um, but this is what the experiences are about, what you've just experienced. And you've lived in Cape Town for how long? Many, many, well, 30, uh, actually 33 years, if I'm not exactly. mistaken. How yeah, many times years. have you experienced that? No, 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 and I mean, that was even a few seconds of us getting here as well. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is I just want to get more of the background in, and then I'm going to go into the interview with Jacques. We said we're going to head out here, find a nice, quiet spot for us, and then we're going to ask him a couple of questions about the industry. How did he get involved in the industry? You know, what does he love about it? What are his experiences that he can share with us? Because I'm a business coach and an inspirational speaker. So part of this is sharing with you the good news of what entrepreneurs go through in different industries. And there's no doubt this is an exciting industry. Woo! Feel the power! Yeah. <laughs> amazing! Amazing, amazing! I want to get now straight into the interview side. I'm always aware of battery life, etc., and the quality that we're going to give you. Right, so Jacques, we've got our spot. Let's get you in here. Manaya, you can come around to me. Okay, as I said, this is all going to be raw, unplugged, unedited. No, okay, okay. We, uh, by the way, we never ever take complaints from anybody because guess what? We don't edit this stuff. We don't green we don't green screen it. It's just raw. We are raw. And it, but, we are raw. Yeah, we are raw. Jacques, let's get into some of the questions about you. First of all, I've known this character since he was a kid, a teenager. And I could pull rank on him, but I never thought you'd make me this happy, man. Well, I'm very happy. No, happy I, made you I happy, never, man. seriously, I never thought you'd make me this happy in my lifetime. This has been a phenomenal experience because it's like peace, but it's adrenaline at the same time, yeah. which is quite like almost a contradiction. It is. You know, it's like I feel so calm within myself. But we have been going like hooligans at the same time. No, we have, yeah. <laughs> and that's what it's all about is, you know, everybody's adrenaline fact is different, you know. Correct. Certain people get off on, on, on certain stuff. And, and for us, um, you know, some people just find their adrenaline pumping once they have to jump in the ocean. Um, so let's talk about some of the dives that you guys do. Get, share with our audience some of the experiences you've had. And like, you know, what do your customers come back with? Like, like do they see whales? What are, they, what are the highlights of what you do? Yeah, that's, like, what, that's the question. What are the highlights? On the scuba diving side, Cape Town is different to any place in the world uh, where I've worked and so on. Um, you know, everyone always raves about the tropics and, and the coral reefs and the warm water. And, and for me, a lot of times, you know, by day three or four, you already know what you're going to see. Um, yeah. In other words, it's not mystery. If your visibility yeah. is like forever, infinity, Ex there's no yeah. mystery to that. I exactly. Get, I and, get that. And for us, Cape Town, you know, we call it lucky packet diving. You do not what, you do not know what you're going to get until you get out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've just come up with a terminology I've never heard at 52 years young. What? Lucky packet diving. Lucky packet I'm diving. Like, my kid's going to love that. Exactly. When I tell her, she's five. She'll understand that as well. Lucky it's, packet yeah, diving. Yeah, it's like a lucky packet every time you get out there. You know, uh, I went diving with the seven girl car sharks. It's one of two places in the world to dive with them in such shallow waters. And uh, while we were diving, this massive giant short tail sing ray just came out of the depths and just started swimming up and so on. And first time that I saw it then. And these are the type of experience you go for one thing, you get something totally unique, you know. And we've got amazing coral here as well. So, yeah, hang on. Hey, well, we've got amazing coral here as yeah, well. Yeah, you see, now, I remember, I don't know, look, I know water sports. To a point but you're an expert in it so tell us about that let's go are there ships shipwrecks that we can go and dive in this okay. area is there coral i mean explain to me what's available so there are shipwrecks. if i was a tourist yeah. um as a tourist first of all we have shipwrecks here um the downside is visibility normally when people want to dive shipwrecks they want to experience the whole wreck so from, yeah, from yeah. end to end 
we do not get that in Cape Town. The unique factors for me about Cape Town diving is the kelp forests. Now a lot of people go, oh yeah, but it's a kelp forest. And I'll ask them, okay, do you go through Newlands Forest? And they go, yes, it's amazing, I love it. And I go, okay. That's it's a kelp like, forest, it's yeah. It's like going through Newlands Forest, apart from you guaranteed to see wildlife which you don't get in Newlands Forest. <laughs> Good so, analogy, absolutely. So you've got that, um, the seals. The seals is an incredible one. So listen, um, stand up, we're gonna tell you why. I, you know, I work on my energy and gut feel. I wanna get us in the background this way, because it's stable here. There we go. Let's get table mount in the background. And now, I'm putting out the energy. It'd be cool if a dolphin popped up next to us, like earlier on when we got the dolphins in the actual way or a whale let's just talk about the features in the background yeah because yeah. Yeah, remember a lot of people that are going to tune in here are also international guests yeah so let's just talk about the features in the background yeah if i'm a tourist pretend i'm a tourist i'm a guest of yours you know what are the highlights here as a tourist i mean okay, apart okay. from being on the water i mean this is phenomenal i'm going to show you something you've never seen before okay tell me. did you know that cash has got a grandfather looking over it Okay, explain. Okay. So, I'm not highly creative, but so like I'm... Okay. <laughs> so, you see table mount at the top. Yes. You see the table car fork at the top. Yes. As you come down and it lifts up, yeah. that's the forehead. As you come down, it dips into the eye, goes up into the nose, a bit further down, the mouth and the chin that runs down. Okay, Tom's grandfather. Lying on his and, back and, looking to the sky. And I thought I did know everything about Cape Town. Yeah. Hey, phenomenal. And I've, I can imagine that over a sunset. Oh, yeah. Would also give a completely different Definitely. description. Um, so you're telling me there's no beautiful woman lying there? I, thought no. it was, I always thought there's some type of shape of a beautiful woman. By the way, it's Women's Month this August. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, the weather's not out there, so we've got no bikinis on the boat today. Unless that was my only complaint for the record. I said to him, this is like such an amazing experience. But I expected him to have a boat full of people in bikinis, you know, guys, girls. And he said, well, Craig, at the speed we're going to be going, Nobody's going to have anything left no, on well, them. No, I offered you a thong, but you declined. Very inappropriate. No, no, I declined, I declined. So, yeah, so then... Okay, seeing this thing that we're on a factor of women and so on, I had these uh, old people from, from Florida uh, yes. in their 60s and so on, showed them all of that. Yeah, yeah. And the comment that they made, and I, again, I can't look at Lion's yeah, Head yeah. the same anymore, is... <laughs> Keep it PG, eh? <laughs> I know. They said the grandfather's very happy. Yeah, yeah, could be. Very happy. And I indeed. haven't been looking at Lion's Head the same again as well, so, so, so that was a bit of a diner. But isn't it amazing how the topography, uh, the setting, the water, Everything. I mean, it seriously is unique. It is. It is seriously Having unique. this mountain right in a, you know, city setting is incredible. Um, like I say, the promenade here, just walking up and down it. Uh, a lot of times we have wells right in the bay right here. So, so and what about surf breaks? So, any surf breaks, if I come out here, down your boat, um, is there somewhere you can take us from a surf break point of view? I know you've got a secret spot. I yes. want you to tell everybody about the secret spot. We have one of the most unique yeah, breaks yeah. In, in Cape Town, uh, which is surfing Robin Island. So, Robin Island's got a lot of history behind it, as a lot of people would know. Um, but we thought we'd bring in a different factor as well to the island, create a bit of uniqueness. Um, and this is surfing Robin Island. Um, I mean, that is. Totally unique, rather. Right, yeah, right. I mean, it's a totally completely. unique experience. Um, before people, you know, there were only sorts of people that got the permission to go there um, to surf it a once off. Um, as a company, we have the permission and the permit to surf there all the time. Um, we do not go out all the time, we wait for the exact precise conditions. So for it's it almost for the like in my terminology, it's like uh, you're going to go when it's dungeons conditions or. Uh, Mavericks conditions or no, well, tofu or no, it's more no, leisurely. It, it, it depends on the it, people. Have a meaning? Okay. It, it, it depends on the people. Um, when we get the big wave guys out and they want big surf, we'll wait for that. We'll wait for like a three and a half to five meter swell running, good clean swell, 14 to 16 seconds in it. And then you've got clean eight to 10 foot waves, at least a 200 meter ride. Um, with you, Cape Town. 200 meter ride. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> with this backdrop. Cape Town, Table backdrop, Mountain man. as your backdrop and so on. And then for the more intermediate surfers as well, we will go out in the smaller days. We limit the groups to a maximum of eight surfers. And the reason we're doing this is at our local breaks and so on, we've lost the soul in the sport. That's okay, all the competition I'm and so on. Yeah, so you're once right. we are there, it's yeah, all right. about having a good time. Everyone just, you know, yeah, pushes otherwise each people other get on. Too, and you get too competitive and you take away the fun. Versus, exactly. You know, if you have a, a social environment and everyone's edging, you know, to your own heart, your yeah. own ability, 
that's such a cool thing. It's the same in business. I mean, I find in business the work I do is you know you got to have the raw talent and then you unleash and unlock that raw talent exactly. and then people shine their best but if you try and push somebody and you say you have to do and you must do then you're not going to bring out the no. best in them you don't uh, get it the, and that's the, the bit about talent. robin island as well is there's no locals oh uh, yeah i never thought about that just check out yeah let's just show robin islands is very much in the distance we're going to turn around a little bit together yeah keep you in frame try and keep it steady i'm more, i'm very particular about the motion of the camera because i know we're on a boat that makes it a little bit more challenging so there we go and i'm going to lift it up it's about see, seven it's about kilometers there in the background how's it yeah. seven eight k's eh? yeah. so you can see some oh, yeah. buildings in the background on that island robin island right so we're going to wrap up this is craig metrich and jacques ellis for videocelebritynews.com go and watch the intro as well on facebook.com forward slash metro witch and you can see additional interviews share this like it love it share the good news share the love share the lights and come and pop in when you're in cape town and come and pop in when you're in cape town share the fun in cape town over and out